Hi, my name is Przemek Hojecki and this episode is about finding a job as a data scientist and what should be the very first steps you take if you decide that you want to make a career change and become a data scientist. So the, the world we're living right now has plenty of opportunity to become a data scientist because you have amazing amount of materials online, both in forms of courses, books, uh, both on YouTube, Coursera, uh, blogs. There is plenty of data sets on Kaggle and on different websites, uh, pages of people from universities. Uh, so if you want to analyze from Twitter to uh, different kind of text to images of flowers, you can do that. Uh, that's an easy part. The harder part is actually to start practicing and being consistent in that. So data science is not a sprint, it's more of a marathon. Uh, you need to prepare well and you need to keep on practicing. Code a lot, be very practical about coding, be practical about the solution that you deliver. So, if you have the goal of becoming a data scientist and you don't really have a computer science background, then the very first step is to go and learn some Python. Uh, so Python is basically the language of choice for uh, modern era machine learning slash data science and you should be accustomed with that first. Secondly, there's a bunch of mathematics you have to learn as well, like uh, different concepts in statistics and linear algebra at the level of manipulation with matrices, uh, adding, computing different vector sizes, vector lengths. Uh, this is all needed, especially uh, a little bit later in the stage, but first of all, it's needed because if you want to manipulate data, if you want to understand what's going on with the data you're looking at, then there are a couple of fundamental concepts that you have to learn. So, those things are actually not that difficult, it just takes time to get accustomed to them, especially like it's always with mathematics, you have to do exercises, you have to keep on practicing, you have to start and do and do and do unless you until you understand what's going on. And that's also the case with Python and learning how to code. So it's not like you have to learn all of Python. You have to learn standard, standard concepts and standard libraries like scikit-learn, matplotlib, and a bunch of things like pandas to manipulate with data, importing different JSON files or like other files that you want to uh, use throughout your process, throughout the, the whole thing, uh, throughout your future career in data science. But the best thing to start learning about those is if you go to Kaggle, so www.kaggle.com with double G, uh, then you discover there are plenty, plenty of competitions in data science. Uh, most of them are not really good for beginners. They're really world-class people competing over there and the whole teams. But the, the crucial point is this. Uh, you have access to all the data sets out there. They're mostly polished. Some of them has explanations to them. And it's a really good place to start to see what people are looking at right now in data science. So, uh, for example, you can go to the past competitions in the, the last three months and see what were those competitions, what were the goal, what kind of techniques people use, because you can have a look at the Jupyter notebooks, uh, at their code, and try to analyze that. So that's the very first step you can do. Uh, and then you can also start searching for similar code either on GitHub or this beautiful domain paperswithcode.com where actually you have all the papers uh, with, with, band, with, with the code basically attached to it. So you can always have a look at what people are doing in data science. Of course, if you're just starting, then the best thing you can do is start with an intro course uh, into like machine learning or data science and there are plenty of those currently on Coursera and you can start for free. So for example, there are many courses uh, done by IBM like Applied Data Science, Applied uh, Machine Learning uh, and they start from scratch. You don't have to program, you learn Python along the way. They tell you to install Jupyter Notebook and tell you everything about the steps. And this is a perfect way to actually get into data science because then you can start understanding all the basic concepts there are, uh, code for yourself, do a little bit of like projects, uh, and then get a certification in the end by a world-class, world-well-known company, uh, which is IBM. 
So Coursera is great for that. So you don't have to pay if you don't want to have a certification, but if you want, and that's a good thing to, to have one, if, especially if your background is not in computer science, then you can get it on Coursera. Uh, that's a great thing. So another, another classical course is a course by Andrew Ng called Machine Learning, which is also available on Coursera, uh, which was offered at Stanford and which is really a great, great course into Machine Learning. And of course, there are plenty of books where, with which you can start, like, for example, Introduction to Machine Learning or Data Science from Scratch. Especially Data Science from Scratch is my favorite book when it comes to learning data science because it teaches you the very, very first step, like install Jupyter Notebook, install, uh, so, so with, coming with Anaconda, then start your first project, and then go, they go from the very basics to more advanced stuff. So, if you want to start a data science career, then you, you need to learn coding, you need to learn Python, you need to learn statistics, and then start also visualizing those using Matplotlib and probably a little bit of HTML. Uh, that'd be great if you know that, but that's not necessary. So what's necessary actually is you creating a profile on GitHub, uh, which is really a great place to share your work, to share your open source projects, uh, both for your colleagues, friends and future employers that might hire you because that's a great place to actually show to the world what you have done so far. And especially if you're just starting, uh, this is the way to show your uh, knowledge about what you're doing currently, uh, what's going next. And if you share those on your LinkedIn profile, then that's also fantastic. So LinkedIn is really a great source uh, if you're looking for actively already for a job because uh, you can look at different groups, you can also reach to different people. There are plenty of recruiters who uh, will search actively for data scientists. So if you put like data scientists in your profile with a little bit of your expertise so far, so those open source projects on GitHub, then at some point you will be seen, especially if you start posting more on LinkedIn. So it's very important that uh, your LinkedIn profile is up to date and you're posting different thing, uh, things uh, either weekly or more often if you feel like so. Uh, this is really important because this lets other people uh, see you, understand what you're doing and what is your goal. So this is really great and this is really important, especially in the beginning, but also later on in your career. So all those things coming together. Uh, there are a bunch of stuff you have to learn and it's all about practical coding, uh, getting down to work every day, basically, especially at the beginning, you need to spend at least a couple of hours per day. That can be in the afternoon uh, if you're working, if you have like a full-time job outside of data science, but you at least have to spend this one hour to get into the problem and try to solve it. Uh, and then LinkedIn plus GitHub is the best way to show your work to the world. Uh, share it and be discovered by recruiters and potential employers. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about uh, becoming a data scientist, please leave a question, uh, please leave your question below. Uh, also, I have written a book called Data Science Job, How to Become a Data Scientist. So if you want to hear more about data science career, please go to the book. Uh, it's available on Amazon everywhere around the world. The link is also below. Uh, so yeah. So this probably will help you also. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next episode.